there's turtles on turtles. Turtles and more turtles. Turtles and more turtles. Turtles are literally everywhere. What's inside? I guess nothing. <laughs> cool. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley Mateo, also known as ClaimYourMagic.co, and welcome back. We are back with another Taiwan vlog. Wow, Taiwan vlogs back to back, week to week. Who am I? I don't know, but y'all, I'm doing it. I'm really freaking proud of myself. Finally starting to get ahead of like the editing game because I'll be real, I have basically been editing and recording like intro slash voiceovers like the friday before these get uploaded i've decided to make them mondays just because of the poll that i had done like i don't know a couple weeks ago people wanted to see it on mondays so we are out here on monday so anywho we're back with another taiwan vlog this one is taking place in um yeah gaosheng city gaosheng city i swear i don't have a lisp sometimes i just Grabble my words up. So before I drop you into the vlog footage, I want to give y'all a little intro backstory. So if y'all are new here and don't know, all the vlog footage that you're going to see is from last year. I traveled to Taiwan March of 2020 until May of 2020 and I'm just creating vlogs because I can. Anyways, you can catch up up there. But yeah, we go to a pretty good amount of places in this in a day. We basically just do a day trip around Kaohsiung City. Um, the first place being Lotus Pond. So Lotus Pond ha is like a man-made lake. I was looking it up earlier. Um, but we there are a bunch of these like pagodas and like temples that are along the side of the the pond or lake, whatever. And yeah, they're kind of cool. Like they're all like religious related, not and like I think they're mostly Taoist or some type of like Buddhist religion. I'm honestly not very sure. I just like saw it on like places to see and it looked really cool. So we went. The first place we stopped at is Zo Zo Ying Yandi Temple. I don't know how to pronounce that. Y'all already know I'm really bad at pronouncing <laughs> pronouncing everything. So from what I under what I gathered, it's a Taoist god and it looks really really dope. The second place that we go to is the Dragger, Dragger, Dragon and Tiger Pagoda. Um, and that one was really, really fun. As you'll see, like, that place is freaking huge. Like, it's like zigzag pathways to get into the, the, the pagoda itself, the way that you can see it designed. One side's the dragon, one side's the tiger. And I guess in, I don't know if it's Buddhism, but in that, the, the religious group that created this from what i understood you have to enter through the dragon and exit through the tiger for good luck so the entrance into the actual pagodas you have to go in through the dragon and just like we went to um i'm drawing <laughs> i'm drawing a blank <laughs> but we went to a, a temple like a couple weeks prior um, I'm gonna drop the name right here, but you know the dragon was basically like this culture, like this ride of education of how like this religion came to be. So it kind of was very similar to that, except there was no animatronics, thank God, because I think that really creeped me out. Um, but you go through this dragon and you see the story of this like religion being born or like where it derived from, which is cool. It it was all pictures, so like there was no like voiceover so like you can kind of just get an idea what it was like and then you go up into the pagodas or one pagoda um and there's like spiral staircase so that's why i did not end up recording any content there because i was just like this is a lot of walking <laughs> up some stairs and i won't lie like clenched the booty because it was getting pretty high up um but what was cool is that because it's on a lake there's actually like this um, man-made wakeboarding um, that you'll see here that I recorded. It was pretty cool. <laughs>
But yeah, basically we went up the pagoda, went down, and then we exited through the tiger. And of course, Vinny needed to have some really cool epic shots. So, you know, your girl had to do it for him. <laughs> And after that, we were walking back to our car and we noticed these turtles. Like, there was just like an enclosure of turtles. There's turtles on turtles. Turtles on more turtles. Turtles on more turtles. Turtles are literally everywhere. This is crazy. So many turtles. And. I didn't really understand why there were that many turtles, but then either Vinny or I did some research and it was relating to the god that was like the temple. Basically the, the turtles were in front of, or like it was like at the beginning of the path to one of the, the temples. I don't remember if it was the one that we walked by or if there was another, cause there were a handful of them. Hey y'all, what's up? This is Ashley from the future dropping in to just share some notes that I have about this particular story. I actually asked Vinny about this because I was like, I don't remember what happened here. And so basically he gave me some notes where the god that the turtles are in relation to is Shen Wu. Um, and he was known as the Yellow Emperor. Basically as he grew up, he felt the sorrow and pain of the life of ordinary people and wanted to retire to a remote mountain for the cultivation of the Tao. Um, there's a lot of different stories that revolve around this particular um, emperor, but basically he became a deity um, in the Taoist religion. And the reason why the turtles are there is that supposedly after he became immortal, his stomach and intestines absorbed the essence of the earth. His viscera transformed into a demonic turtle and demonic snake who started to hurt people. No one could subdue these animals and eventually Shen Wu returned to the earth to subdue them. After defeating them, he used them as his subordinates. So that's why there were a bunch of turtles in relation to that um, particular god. There were no snakes, thank goodness, because I don't think they, I don't even know what I would do if there were a bunch of snakes around. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to drop in and share that um, because yeah, I knew there was a reason and I just couldn't remember. So but yeah, after that, we decide to go to our next destination. Originally, I wanted to go to this place called Fugudao, um, which is another lake with a pagoda situation. I know. Why, why did we do this? Because I wanted aesthetic pictures. Let's be real. I was out in another country and we had like a day to ourselves and I wanted to get some shots for my social media. I'm just going to be real and say that because why? when would I ever get to do these things? And like... Vinny was always down for whatever and like we ended up going to some of the places he wanted to go to afterwards but we tried to go to this one pagoda but there was no free public parking near it and so we ended up in these wetlands which was pretty cool so it was like the Niaosung wetlands um and it was really really interesting like I did not expect to like it as much as I did um, but it was really beautiful. Like there was just a lot of greenery. There was a lot of different plants um, There was a pond um, It was really cool. So that's all I can say about that Right now we're in like this wetland area In Kaohsiung and it's so cute Turtles in the water. Hey babe, look! You wanna walk this way? Don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Are we trying to be adventurous again?
going right? Oh! for real water. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's being for real watered over here. Um, the next place that we went to was the Imperial Japanese Navy Fengshan Wireless Communication Station. Yes, I had to read that because it was a long one. Basically, if y'all don't... And then basically, this is actually like an abandoned station um, that was used by the Japanese military. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am so fascinated by urban exploring abandoned places. I mean, we went to the Fatoro houses back at the beginning of the trip. So like you can already tell, like I was so excited and I'm pretty sure we Googled one day like places, like abandoned places to go to in Taiwan. And this was one of them. And unfortunately it really let me down. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, I thought this was gonna be like really big and like super abandoned and like creepy vibes, like cool shit, like cool shots and stuff. Um, and then when we got there, it was actually like a park. <laughs> like there were still the buildings like the abandoned buildings were there but most of them were blocked off so you couldn't actually really go into them they had signs they had like locks on them and like yeah i know like that's the whole point but i don't know like i was expecting a little bit more it just looked like regular buildings that just weren't being used anymore like it didn't seem like i don't know i think i was just really expecting a lot more than this but People were walking around there like it was a park, like it was a park for people. Like there are volunteers that like there's that like have you like sign up for something if you want or like I don't know. It was like something about signing up with something and then you could also get these little brochures but they were not in English so like I didn't really have any interest in them. Um, but we did have a nice walk around the park. I really was expecting it to be bigger or at least more places to go into. But unfortunately, most of the buildings were closed off or like they just seemed like they were just closed buildings. Like it, it just seemed like a building that was closed. Yeah, like literally like they were just closed for the day. <laughs> so it was kind of a bummer but it was cool because I did end up running into like a cosplaying um photo shoot 
in like one of the little bunker areas, which was kind of cool. Um, I didn't really find any places that I was interested in taking photos at per se, so I was kind of let that let down by that. No girls allowed. <laughs> Whoa. Damn, I do not know what this is, but lock someone in there. <laughs> hmm. Looks like it could have been a kitchen of some sort. And is there like bathrooms maybe? I don't know. I didn't actually check out the map. <laughs> to the underground thing. Seems like people just come here to like bike, like bike and walk around. These trees are so interesting. Whoa. Yeah. Never just find someone. You go first. <laughs> I mean, you can see the light on the other side, but it creeps me out a little bit. Is that the bunker, maybe?
doggy in the distance. And here's a couple other sections. It's interesting seeing these places and like them having a, a own purpose and now no longer. Like it's a very different time. And so the last place that we head to um, is Fengyi Academy. And so this was a former Qing Dynasty Academy. Um, it was constructed in 1814. And basically it was, a, it was really here to help people learn the Confucius way of living. Um, and it, <laughs> it was pretty cute. I'm not even going to lie because um, throughout the entire like museum, you could call it like it had like a, it was mostly an outdoor museum um, with buildings and structures you can go into and stuff. Um, but there were these these like like cartoony type statues that like kind of depicted the way of living out there or like what it was like to be inside the the school. So like there were like teachers and. You know, you'll just see like Vinny is just posing and all of them and it's just hilarious because like you could see they're teaching them like, you know, strength training and like, you know, skills, but also there's like school stuff. So it's kind of funny to like see all of that um, and you kind of get a little bit of history, but unfortunately most of it wasn't in English, so I didn't get too much out of it. Um, but yeah, it was really cute. I overall really was like surprised how well it was put together. Um, just with like the like the cartoon like cartoony characters, I think it really would bring in a lot of like um school like school field trips. Um there were a good amount of kids that were there. Most of them actually were like kids with parents or something like that. So it was pretty cute. I did not think I was gonna like it as much as I did, but I mean my boyfriend really liked it because he picked it. <laughs> Two hours later. Oh, look at them. So fucking cute. Oh my god, the little baby. Look at the little baby and the grandpa. Oh. Bye, baby. Wow, so cute. That's really it for this one. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when the next time I post my video. I don't know if it's going to be Taiwan related or if it's going to be something, you know, woo woo. I'm feeling like woo woo things. So keep an eye out. And yeah, I'll see you. Bye.